Hey everyone, welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at statics, equilibrium of rigid bodies, and we're going to be finding some reactions here. And this will be our 18th part in this particular series. So what we have going on is that the required tension in cable AB over here is 300 pounds. We need to determine the vertical force P that must be applied to the pedal that creates this 300 pounds of force in that cable. And we also have to determine the corresponding reactions here at pin C. All right, so let's set up a free body diagram here. <clears throat> so we're going to apply our tension force of 300 pounds here in cable AB. So there's our 300 pounds. And then we are told that we have a pin here at C. So I'm just gonna throw on my assumptions for my reactions. So I'm gonna assume CY is upward and I'm going to assume C sub X is to the right. Alrighty, and throwing on the assumption errors for your unknown reactions, don't worry if you assume them in the wrong direction because if you assume them in the wrong direction, you'll just get a minus sign in the end, so no big deal. <clears throat> so we're gonna work on the first one that says determine the vertical force P on this system such that the 300 pounds has to be applied at or in that tension in cable AB. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum moments here at pin C. So when I sum moments here at C, C sub X and C sub Y, my reaction unknowns will drop out of my equation, leaving P as my only unknown there. So I'm going to take counterclockwise as positive, sum moments about point C, and everything needs to be in equilibrium here. So all these moments need to be canceled and equal to zero. So let's start with our 300. 300 pounds is rotating counterclockwise about point C, so it'll be positive 300 pounds, times its perpendicular distance down to joint C, so that would be five inches. And then I will have my um, P force here at, G, at D, so it will be rotating clockwise about joint C, so that'd be minus P. And its perpendicular distance over to joint C would be 12 inches, so it would be times 12 inches. And then that's all I have for my moment about point C, since as I said earlier, my reactions go right through that joint, so they do not have any moment about that point. So this is all I have equal to zero. Pretty easy equation here, so P would just be 300 times 5 divided by 12, and that gives us 125 pounds. And since it came out to be a positive number, the downward direction is the correct direction. So there's one of my answers right there. Alrighty, so now with P known being 125 pounds here, we can get the second part of the question and it's asking for the reactions here at pin C. So we just have to determine C sub X and C sub Y. And what we can do there is that we can just sum forces in the X direction and sum forces in the Y direction and they have to be in equilibrium, so they have to be equal to zero. So these are pretty simplistic equations. So this 300 is an X, don't include it. C sub X is an X. Well, we have C sub Y. Here's a Y force, and then P is the only other Y force, and it's going downward, so it'd be minus 125 pounds equal to zero. Pretty simplistic equation there. C sub Y has to be 125 pounds. Came out to be a positive number, so my assumed arrow direction of up was correct. Alrighty, and then the x direction, which is our last one to get C sub x, is just as simplistic here. So we have 300 pounds, which is going left, so negative 300, and then C sub x, I have pointed to the right, so it's positive C sub x. C sub y and the p-force are both in the y, so don't include them in this particular equation. So once again, we end up with a simplistic equation here, and C sub x pops out to be 300 pounds. Can't be positive, so I know that my assumed arrow direction of to the right is correct. And also, you can see that visually. And that's how you would solve that particular problem. <clears throat> so not super difficult, but make sure that you do have the correct answers. And what we're going to do is that we are going to check our answers here just by summing moments at a different point. And I advise that you would do this, like if you have a test or any kind of homework question, just double check that your reactions are okay. And typically what you do is that you just some moments at a different point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum moments up here at B. And they all have to be in equilibrium still, so they have to be equal to zero. So up here at B, the cable force of the 300 pounds disappears. It doesn't include in my moment equation because it goes right through the point, so it does not cause moment about B. So let's start with our reactions here. So C sub X is 300 pounds. 
its perpendicular distance up to point B would be the five inches. It is rotating counterclockwise about B, so it is positive. And then C sub Y, which is also rotating counterclockwise about point B, so it would be positive, 125 pounds, times its perpendicular distance over to B, which would be the three inches. And then lastly, I have this 125 for my force P. It will be rotating clockwise about B, so it would be minus 125 pounds times its perpendicular distance to get it over to B, which would be the 15 inches. And that's all I would have. So let's make sure that this comes out to be zero. And what does it do? What does it come out to be? Well, it comes out to be exactly zero. So <clears throat> my check works out. Thus, my equations or my answers for my reactions and my p-force are correct. Now, you don't have to sum moments at B. You can sum moments anywhere you want. You can also pick arbitrary points if you want to. Just make sure you do some kind of check summing at a moment point where you have not done that yet. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problem solving this Friday, please check out the other videos in our or on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all that does help us. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.